Hey, what's going on, family? It's Lachlan here, and welcome back to... Come on, let me hear you say it. Come on, say it. You know you want to say it. Command blocks are awesome. Exactly. No matter what way you spell it, command blocks are freaking awesome. And yes, I did not spell it wrong in last episode on the title. That was actually a request from a family member, Chess Vincent, so I did it. So there you go, Chess, for you. Okay, so this episode, this episode is about... Text, command block text in Minecraft and how to display it with color and also how to create delays to make conversations or information given on screen and all that good stuff. So here we go. So for those of you that remember in the first episode, this right here, do you remember this? Boss, Temple Guardian, Specials, Potion, Blindness, Insanity, Minions. Okay, the, make, the thing that makes this cool is the text color. I really think the text color and the text appearance. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. We have three examples over here. We have this one, we have this one, and we have this one. Okay, three examples. Now I'm going to give you guys a mini lesson inside of MC Edit. So make sure you get out of your Minecraft world all the way. You don't have to get out of Minecraft, just the world. So let's go ahead and pull up MC Edit. All right, so here's MC Edit here. So we're going to load a world, which is my world here. Load it up. Done. Now we're inside of MC Edit. Real quick way how to navigate MC Edit is WASD, move, you know, forward, back, left, right, all that good stuff. And then also you have, uh, you hold down your right mouse button when you do this. You can move back and forth like this, but if you hold down the right mouse button, you can rotate just like so. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to come down here, and when you click on the command block, you click it once and you click it twice, and it opens up this option here called Filter. Come into Filter, you'll see where it says Filter here, click this, it'll drop down and you'll see this. Now, the only way you're going to see this is if you install Seth Bling's custom filters for command blocks. Now, you can download this one, it's called Color Command Block Text. I will put the link in the description below where you can get this at, so don't worry about it. Once you install it, okay, first of all, the way to install it, find your MC Edit folder. Inside of your MC Edit folder, you'll find a folder called Filters. Put all the filters in the folder called Filters. Pretty easy stuff. Once you do it, you should be able to put on MC Edit, and this option should appear. And other options, too, if you decide to download all of his filters. So you come here, and we have color command block text selected right here. So we're going to keep this pink. So we're going to hit filter. Make sure anytime you make a change in filters, you click filter down here. It says one unsave edit, control S to save. So just hit control S, done. That's done. So now we come over here, hit escape, and then we can select this one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure you do it twice, because if you don't, you'll put the selector on like this until you hit it again. So just make sure you do it twice right there. And then hit filter, and let's pick another color. So let's make this one purple, and we'll give it italics. So let's hit filter again, save, done. Hit escape, go to the next one here, click it one more time, go to filter, and let's do aqua, and we'll make it bold. Just like that, hit filter again, Control S, save. You are done with MC Edit at this time. So we can actually just exit out of it. So go to single player, go back to your world, like so. And now we should have three color variations. There we go, purple. Oh, actually that was pink, purple with a talus. And there you go, aqua bold. So that's how you do it. That's how you create colored text for command blocks. Now check this out. Now I want to show you guys this. Remember in the first episode how I showed the boss fight and what happened. So what I'm going to show you is delay. So as you can see right here, I'm using repeaters for delay. You can do other things um, to do this, but I use the repeaters and this is how I do it. So you see it, phase one, boss fight and minions. Then it gives a little bit of time, minion zero one comes out. And then a little more time and minion zero two comes out. So I'm going to show you guys how to do those things. So here's what you got over here. So for instance, we have a pressure plate activated by the redstone underneath there. comes along here. We have the repeaters. And that's it, just for the delay. So if we step on the pressure plate, watch. And command blocks are awesome. And I know, right? So that's it. We did a, we did a small delay in between those two pieces of the conversation. 
So if you come over here, I want to show you this, and this is really important, so remember this. So if you look, I have a repeater right here with no delay on it in front of this block here where the button is. And the reason why is because you cannot put, I'll show you, you cannot put this here like this and then put a button here like this and expect that whole thing to trigger off. It will not work. You have to put something here that carries a redstone signal from here. So you'll see command, blocks, then it says R, and then it ends with awesome, just like that. So just remember that. That's just a little tip to do that. All right, then over here, check this out. This is for no delay whatsoever. Boom. Right there. Do it again. See? Command, awesome, R. I like that. Let's see. Command, blocks. Oh. We have to do this. You gotta make sure you do this because this is a big thing. If you don't put this stuff in here, it will not work. And then awesome. So now let's do it again. Let's do it again. Done. Command blocks are awesome. Wait, command blocks awesome. Whoa, that's interesting. So sometimes it doesn't fire off in a row as you can see there. So let's see here. Interesting here, here, and there so sometimes it doesn't maybe you have to put a gap in between them just to make it let's 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 experiment with that real fast so we go command blocks are awesome just like that so let's go here here just like so done put the redstone down and there now the reason why I showed it to you like this is because my other one worked just fine so that's when I'm like hmm so let's do this Cancel and done. Let's do, all right. Why do I keep doing that? Come over here and done. And here, let's do just say R and then done. And then here say awesome. Now, it should all work. It should all be in a row this time. Get out of the way. Let's put this here. Where's our button? Done. Command blocks are awesome. See? Command blocks are awesome. Command blocks are awesome. So, okay. Sometimes it doesn't work like this. It looks like only three did it. Let's see. What did that say? Command blocks are. Yep. Command blocks are. So, I guess it wasn't hitting it on the fourth one. Weird. But there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you create delays. That's how you show text. That's how you color text and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you have any more ideas on what you would like to see with command blocks, please feel free to put them in the comments below. Remember, everything that I talk about, custom filters of Seth Blings are going to be in the description below. And MC Edit also, you can get in the description below. So that's it, you guys. Remember, give it a thumbs up if you like this series, and I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out. Bye.